Okay, well, go back to me. Go back to me. Who knew? Who knew you could get wedding dresses at PF Chang's? That's right, y'all. Somehow, this is the pre-wedding vlog. I carried this whole ass dress all the way through the airport to P.F. Chang's. So apparently, they might be able to put my dress in the captain's closet, which means that my dress is a way nicer seat than I do. <laughs> At 1.5 billion hours later, we made it to London, England. You better believe it. The dress was intact. My rehearsal dress was intact. The weather was gorgeous. Like I couldn't believe how pretty it was. I have been in London a lot and it really showed up and showed out. It made me a little nervous though, because as much as it was so nice outside, I was like, but what does that say about what the weather's gonna be like the wedding week? Cause this was the week before. It was balmy. It was delicious. Uh, Will's family met my family for the first time. It was just like a very wholesome, wonderful time. We also had our Sten do. Did I get my period the day of our joint stag do, hen do situation? Yes, I did. It was absolutely miserable. Did I rally and still get absolutely obliterated? Yes, I did. But now I'm just very happy that my period happened when it did and I will not be dealing with it on my wedding day. If I had to change a tampon on my wedding day, I would have screamed. I've just finished up wrapping my bridesmaids gifts. Shall we go through them? I realize I probably should have done this before I packed the bags all pretty like. So because I'm an influencer, I do get a decent amount of PR and I reached out to all of these brands. They all agreed to gift little things so that we could have a fun little box for my girlies and my gays. And so that's exactly what we have here. So thank you to every single brand I mentioned in this. I'm unboxing my sister's one for you. <laughs> so first of all, look how cute these little bags are. I'm literally getting married in a garden room, which is just like a greenhouse basically. And so it really made sense to do tulips, right? First thing I wanted all of my bridesmaids to have was a little skincare moment. This is the Eden Instant Lift Mask. It brightens and firms uh, from Joanna Vargas. Very cute, very cute indeed. I might be borrowing one of these from one of them because I didn't get one myself and now I kind of want to use it. Next up from Finery, we have the Jungle Santal perfume. This is such a beautiful, unisex perfume. Uh, it's supposed to smell like papyrus wood, Indian cardamom, and black oolong tea, and very much so like Santal. This is a delight. It's steamy, it's delicious, it's jungly. I love it. Number two, our second little package in this bag is a ton of these little Vita Glow Anti-Geox citrus flavored packets. These are basically like an antioxidant packet. I wanted to do something kind of like liquid IV, but these ones are supposed to be a little bit more skincare focused, but it's got stuff like hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in this packet. Don't even know how that works, but I'm into it. And then massive amounts of vitamin C, which I think is just good because all these people are traveling, they're getting on planes, and I don't want anyone to get sick. So, so my girlies are hydrated. And then each of the girlies and the gays gets a little slip mask. This is a pure silk sleep mask. And if you've ever used one of these before, again, I'm very jealous of this bag because I really want this right now. I'm very jet lagged. So this would really improve me very greatly. Um, but isn't it so pretty? Just a black, simple slip mask so good. Again, everyone traveling can wear this on the plane, make for a way more enjoyable time. And then last, but certainly not least, we have our last little packet of things, which are all Gucci. My ride or die uh, came through and gifted a little set of makeup for each girl. So we've got blushes, we've got a little lip gloss, and we've got a little lipstick for each of the ladies. And then for Aaron and Connor, my bride's boys, they are both getting a Gucci fragrance. So pretty cool, pretty cute. Just to give you like an idea, look at how cute this packaging is on this. I'm gonna put this back really carefully, but oh, my gosh, isn't that so fun? This is my sister's. Look how pretty that is. That like beautiful mauve color. Oh, I'm literally obsessed. I cannot wait to see if they like all the colors. Okay, we gotta pay for this wedding somehow. So let me take a quick little ad break and then we'll get back into the planning of it all. I'll go on record and say that doing this wedding, making this all happen has been one of the most mentally taxing things that I've ever done in my life. 
And if I didn't have someone to talk it through and talk about it, all of the complex emotions that come with getting married, I think my head would have exploded. And what's the best way to start talking to someone? Probably to start therapy, which is why I'm so excited to say that BetterHelp is a sponsor of this video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who's trained to give you helpful, unbiased advice. First, you go to their site. You can use my link, betterhelp.com slash rose. You answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience working with people with struggles just like yours. You can do it all through your phone or computer, via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. It's the easiest possible way to start talking to a therapist. You can match to a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started with therapy fast. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash rose, that's better H-E-L-P.com slash rose, or choose Arden Rose at sign up, and you'll enjoy a special discount on your first month. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and taking a little bit of the financial stress off the wedding. Let's get back to it. I'm very much so one of those people where I'm like, open it all up, and then if you guys wanna swap colors, pick one that looks better on you, do whatever. I tried to base all of the different colors on the various skin tones of everyone who is a part of my party, so hopefully, all of it matches and everyone looks great. So we shall see. Oh my gosh, but wait, you have to see this lip gloss packaging. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? So fancy, so fancy. So big ups to all these brands who were so generous to be included in this bag and making it happen so quickly. Thank you so much to the PR team that helped me get all of this over to London. Um, I'm so excited for my girlies and my gays to have something so fun to open on the day. And thank you guys for making this so special. And that is our bridesmaids bag. While I'm here, do you guys wanna see our wedding rings? They're very simple, very, very simple. Of all the things that we picked out for this wedding, we needed to find a place to save a little bit of money. And one way we did that was by just getting very simple gold bands, but we love them. Let me show you what they look like. First of all, how fun is this little Lucite box that it came in? We got ours from Ceremony. I've loved Ceremony rings for such a long time. I feel like I've talked about this brand forever, but I think they just do some of the most gorgeous wedding jewelry. It's all very classic, but also with a twist. I would say that's kind of what this ring is all about. Are we ready? <laughs> Ta-da! This is the Alder 2 ring. I think that's what it's called. It's a slightly thicker Alder ring. Um, and y'all, it is, this is Will's ring. This is literally like a ring from Sonic the Hedgehog that you would pick up. Like, look at it, it is completely round. There's no bezel to it. Bezel, bevel? I actually don't know which one it is at this moment right now. And I am too tired to sort of sort that through my brain. So editor Arden figured that one out. She's a gold ring. They're very classic. Also, Will is not a jewelry man. So, oh, and our rings match. I don't know if I said that. I wanted something classic that I could wear with everything and I feel like this is exactly that. And I can't wait to put these on on Thursday and then never take them off. <laughs> now the last thing I have to do is I need to write notes for all of my bridesmaids because I wanted to write a cute little personalized note, say thank you for coming, et cetera, et cetera. So I think I'm gonna maybe spend the rest of the morning doing that. I'm currently packing for my rehearsal dinner and my wedding and this is what I look like, and this is what I sound like, which is just so fun. I think the combination of seeing people every single night, jet lag, and stress of this wedding has given me a little cold. It's like a cold on your wedding day. So I'm just gonna try to power through and feel better so that I can enjoy everything, because I'll be sad if I don't. But also I'm just like in this state where I'm like, you know what, however I'm feeling, rise above, you know? And the packing commenced. Packing cubes are on another level, obsessed with them. Also this little headband that my sister gave me for my stendu. Extra film and a thong, you better believe it. I managed to pack all of the jewelry um, that Amy had made me from Riley House and then I needed to get dressed and ready to go because it was time to head to the venue, Ken House, where we were getting married. So this is my little outfit of the day. Basically everything that we need has been gathered down here. We had packed all of the groomsmen's gifts, also any kind of wedding accoutrement, like this gorgeous vintage hat from Something Special Vintage. Um, so cute, so incredible. Was so excited to wear it for the rehearsal dinner. Also, if you're worried that the cats didn't come, don't worry, they shed enough. Also, after all of that sun, what have we have this morning? Rain. So, 
Cross your fingers, your toes. Rain was what we like to call in the biz a massive fucking understatement. The heavens opened up and poured down upon us the whole way to the venue. So we just tried to shelter everything inside as quickly as we could from the rain. And thank God nothing got too moist. But I wanted to show you the venue because Kin House was unbelievable. This is where we're having the rehearsal dinner. Are you kidding me? This is where we actually got married. This is the garden room at Kin House. It is so beautiful and oh, just the most perfect setting. And then this was the room that Will and I stayed in. And don't worry, I'm going to show you a beautiful view of the grounds over here. Look at how beautiful this is. So we could see people as they were coming to the venue. And right, that little brown building off in the corner, that's where we got married as well. We have made it to the hotel. I am losing my fucking mind, but we're having a great time so far. I've already had one hot toddy. You know, hot toddy in this hot body. I cannot wait to put my whole butt in this tub. Fun fact, your girl did not put her butt in that tub once. Haha. -ha. I need whoever designed all of this to come to my house and just do everything. Thought it was also worth showing some of the other beautiful places around Ken House. Also, here's Will. Yep, that's the guy that I got married to. Frick yeah, baby. Going down the stairs, trying to do that kind of like office gag that Michael does, but on actual stairs. Also, my new favorite phrase of all time. Have I chosen a ridiculous hat to wear to my own rehearsal dinner? Absolutely. Was it a good choice? We shall see. Apparently for the majority of the rehearsal dinner, I was just trying to fight my bestie, Aaron, which sounds about right. I just love getting into fake fisticuffs with him. But we also had lovely speeches and food and just like the best time with friends and family. And then it was time for wedding day, which I cannot believe happened. Wedding day, wedding day, wedding day, wedding day. But y'all are gonna have to wait to see it, duh. Because we have someone making an incredible video, so. I'm gonna leave you off at this point. Sorry, uh, cliffhanger alert. See you when I'm a married lady. All right, bye.